Hello everybody, this is BeastGet100 and welcome back to some more Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations 2 Prosecutor's Path, The Inherited Turnabout. In the previous episode, we had finished up our section with Gregory Edgeworth. The only section we get to play him, which is a shame because I think it's very fun playing as Edgeworth's father, but that be that as it may, we are back here in the present. I believe we have found a body in the fountain, as that's where we left off here in the present. And the music is picking up, which means that something is going on, so let's find out. If you like what you see, leave a like down below, comment if you have anything to say, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and share with your friends so they can join in on this adventure. And solve this case. Three, two, one. April 2nd, 2.10 p.m. Zodiac Art Gallery, Fountain Patio. And that's all Uncle Ray knows about the IS-7 incident. So that's what happened in my father's last case. The truth of the IS-7 incident. What happened at the trial? In the end, Mankama defeated us. Eh? Uh, so you couldn't prove Mr. Master's innocence? We had gathered plenty of evidence to prove it, but Von Karma was even more despicable than we, than we thought. He was a prosecutor who would do anything for his guilty verdict. That's right, and he really did use any means necessary. Because of this, the trial dragged on for about a year until it finally reached a conclusion. i never forget that fateful day when judgment was passed down, the 28th of December. It's April now, so it's been a little over 17 years. That's actually going to be important. 17 years. How time flies. 28th of December. 17 years ago. I was watching from the gallery that fateful day. Before the trial, your old man noticed Mr. Master was acting strangely. He was at the breaking point, both, both mentally and physically. He wanted to be found guilty. No, Mr. Master didn't fake a confession, did he? Yeah, that was what Von Karman was aiming for from the start. When your old man tried to expose the fact that the body had not been found, Von Karman used the power of police cronies to quash that argument. He even went as far as to prepare a fake autopsy report. Then, they made Mr. Mister Mister Master give false testimony and confess to being an accomplice. With Mr. Master's confession, the situation quickly became a dire. But your old man had a trump card up his sleeve. Was that the trump card he was talking to Detective Bat about? Yeah, the trump card was to be on insurance in case Mr. Master confessed. He had asked Detective Bat to have Mr. Master's interrogation recorded. Detective Bad wanted to know the truth too, huh? After he was dropped from the investigation, he never stopped caring about the case. Even when he was involved with other large cases, he really was the definition of a true detective. The defense presented the recording, which proved that the confession was forced. Well, it seemed that the detective in charge of the initial investigation and interrogation, Rip Lacer, took all the blame and was charged and dismissed. Still, at the trial, your old man exposed Von Karma's corruption, and Von Karma received his first penalty from then, from the then chief prosecutor. The only penalty in his forty years prosecution. Oh, the only penalty in his forty years of prosecution. However, Mr. Master didn't want the trial to continue any longer, and the curtains closed on the trial that that day with the verdict of guilty. My memory of that time is fuzzy, but. I was also there, watching my father's final trial. Then I think his final regret became my own. Because that was the day. The old man wanted a retrial to prove Master's innocence. But he passed on before he could fulfill his wish. After getting entangled in another case. Breaks my heart even now. That I didn't return home with him that day. And what's more, to blind myself from my own worthlessness. 
Uncle Ray put all of his hatred on you as a traitor for being Von Karma's pupil. I'm sorry. Don't be. It's natural you would hate me. So I became a prosecutor. I was able to get Von Karma to show me the case file. Mr. Master was found guilty for the murder of Isaac Dover. Uh, that's not right. Wasn't Mr. Master found guilty of being an accomplice? But this case file says guilty of murder. There shouldn't be anything unresolved in this in the cases handed handled by Manfred von Karma. Wait, can I take a look at that file? It looks like the charges have been rewritten. What? Look at this. Jeffrey Master, 39, creator of the dessert contest. The victim's body... Wait, hold on. Uh, the victim's body was found inside a dessert made by the suspect. This led to his arrest. In jail, he was diagnosed with hypogesia and was treated by medicine. After his own confession, he was convicted as an accomplice to the murder. Charges accomplice to murder? It's a copy of the original case file I received from the courts. Why would the charge be altered? This file was given to you by Von Karma, right? Maybe he just didn't want you to know the truth, since you're Gregory's son. He would have wanted to avoid another retrial before the statu statute of limitations ran out after all. So what I had come to believe back then had all been a lie. If you didn't know about it, just make sure you know it from now on. The statute of limitations have long expired, but the truth still sleeps right here. As your old man passed away, Uncle Ray took over as Mr. Master's defense attorney, although Von Karma also had another prosecutor take over the case. Perhaps he thought that since his opponent was a rookie, he didn't want he even need to turn up. In the, end, in the end, the real killer was never found, and Mr. Master was found guilty. No! Is there nothing that we can do even now? Since the killer was never found, he can't withdraw his confession. I found out after the trial that Mr. Master made a deal with Von Karma before, because Von Karma had threatened him. If you don't confess, Catherine Hall will be held under the same charges. That's terrible. I really don't. I really don't think Mr. Master really. I don't think that Mr. Ma again. I don't think Mr. Master really thought that Kate was the killer, but. To protect her, you faked a confession. Miles. On the day that Nightly Boy was killed, why do you think Uncle Ray was at the prison? I see. You went, you went to see Mr. Master, didn't you? I said I'd visit him every day. I couldn't keep that promise, but... I asked Katie Pie to look in on him for me when I couldn't. Through rain or snow, she went, every single day without fail. But nothing has changed, and Mr. Master still serves his punishment. That's so sad. Isn't there anything we can do? That's why I came here. Because I knew those ice sculptures would be on display here today. So what are you going to do, Miles? I am a prosecutor. My position is different from you and my father. Miles. But, moving past my position, what I want as Miles Edgeworth is to know the truth of these two cases. It is for that reason that I am here. Heh, <laughs> you really are your father's son. Well then, if that's what you've decided, I'll support you all the way. I'd better leave the IS-7 documents and evidence with you, then. Alright, here are the documents. By the way, the parts in orange are Uncle Ray's old notes. Thank you. <laughs> and now, here's the IS-7 evidence. There's a lot, so make sure to look over while you have to... While you, a lot of... Okay, we got the, the evidence. Hmm, right. I'll check through it later. Anyway, there are so many strange things about this case. Indeed. Those involved in the case 18 years ago have reunited, and another incident occurs. 
Replicas of the statues from 18 years ago were displayed in the Winter Palace, and... Poison gas was released in the Autumn Palace, which had been disguised as the Winter Palace. The two chemicals in the Pisces case, Normalium and Fatalium, were mixed, causing an outbreak of poison gas. The victim of the poison gas was Dane Gustavia, a person involved in the IS-7 incident. Because he was unconscious, he received treatment in the Zodiac Art Gallery's infirmary. Finally, the dead body found floating in the fountain. And once again, the ice sculptures have melted. There are deep connections between the two cases. It's possible that there are still some clues left from 18 years ago. Right, let's get started! God fucking damn it. Just one second. Don't tell me you forgot about me. Didn't I tell you that I'm the one in charge of this case? Prosecutor Edgeworth, if you intend to continue disrupting Sebastian's investigation, the word guilty will be added to your PIC report. What does she mean guilty? Please allow me to assist in your investigation as before. I appreciate your proposal, but I am afraid I must overrule it. That was fast. Even though we're short on hands to identify the victim right now, it's only a matter of time until we figure it out. In that case, I shall take that load off your shoulders at once. Regarding the identity of the unidentified body, one person comes to mind. Really? Then tell us. Hm. <laughs> Very well. It's not just the sculptures that have made a comeback from the incident 18 years ago. The body in the fountain is... None other... Huh. <laughs> Should you be surprised at this point? Then Isaac Dover. Take that! It's likely that the identity of the body is a... Is the vi uh, victim of the murder that occurred here 18 years ago, Isaac Dover? Ah, uh, it, it's Icy's body. It's Icy's body. Hey, who's that? I've never heard of him. Mr. Isaac Dover, a truly great sculptor, but he was better known as Pierre Hoquet. The sculptures on display here in the museum are all his creations. Ah, so in other words, that sculpture was the best. Somehow, I feel. Uh, shut up. And he... he was the victim in the IS-7 incident. She knew about the IS-7 incident. Prosecutor Edgeworth, the IS-7 incident occurred 18 years ago. And what's more, the police reported the removal of the body. That's what I'm... that's what's on the record. But I wonder if that really is the truth. What are you saying? The defense attorney in the IS-7 incident claimed that the body was never found. Not that the prosecution would ever admit to such a thing. Hello? Uh, really? Is something wrong, Sebastian? No, it's just they said that they know who the victim is. It's just as the prosecutor says, it's Dover. No, it can't be! Hm, it would seem my father's suspicions were correct. What is it, Judge Courtney? Have you finally realized that I'm much more helpful than Mr. Best? Hey, you, are you trying to steal the best position for yourself? I'm doing no such thing, I just want to know the truth. And for that to happen, we need to co cooperate, no? The truth is none of your concern. <laughs> I don't think so, That I don't think that's true, Courtney, bye. You again. Uncle Ray assisted the defense attorney involved in the IS-7 incident. The one who claimed that Mr. Dover's body was never found. Prosecution denied it at the time, but now the body has been discovered here. In other words, the I-7 int investigation was unjust. And isn't it the duty of the PI say to investigate co corrupt prosecutors? <laughs> then wouldn't you want to cooperate with those who were involved in the case? Unless you have an ulterior motive. Now that I think about it, Judge Courtney knew about the I-7 incident. So it seems she really is here because of the PIC. Even if you related to the case incident, I don't see how Prosecutor Edgeworth is. He's the son of the, that attorney in the case, and, the, and a prosecutor taught by Von Karma himself. 
And what's more, he was in the audience of the IS-7 trial. I'm sure there are many points he can enlighten us on. Ugh. Very well. I will allow you to cooperate. However, your investigation must not hinder the others, in the other investigators. The Winter Palace is currently being investigated, but the Fountain Patio is open to you. With my court and pie. Now that we're talking. As thanks, I will allow you to have a hug with Uncle Ray. Overruled. If I feel your cooperation isn't needed, I will have to ask you to leave. Understood. Ugh, isn't that great, Miles? Now we can just start investigating. You really helped us there. Heh, <laughs> Uncle Ray did it all for himself. <laughs> Alright, Uncle Ray's going to investigate too, so let me know if you figure something out. Go on, it. Right then. Okay, let's begin the investigation. Okay, let's do this. We still don't know where Mr. Dover's body and the Normalium were hidden. We don't have enough information to go on. You're right. Our first priority is the Normalium. Well, Normalium is used in washing detergents, paints, and the like. If I recall, it's a red liquid with a minty aroma. Well then, let's get... Wait a minute. Let's get... Looking for that normalium. I have a feeling I know exactly where it is. If it's... No way. Alright, hold on. That was a lot of story. So let me, let me kind of just... Let me look at what we have. Look at the... Okay. Time of death. The 24th, 2000. So this is in 2018 so it's still the future um crime scene jeffrey masters room mr masters mansion murder weapon rocks out lamp prosecutor von karma defense attorney gregory edgeworth the statute of limitations ran out on december 24th three years ago that's going to be important suspect data jeffrey master the victim's body okay we already we already read this victim isaac dover his true identity is pierre hoquet uh he entered the contest as a cake designer, but his body was found in the defendant's room. The cause of death was a blunt trauma to the head. Because the victim's body vanished, there appears to be no autopsy report. Is that the true reason? There's a picture. Okay. So a lot of so we have that. This was all from this case. Okay. The fam photo. Okay. On the service card, Miss Hole has prepared a tea set. According to the pamphlet, the museum is also famous for its tea. Yes, it certainly has a flavorful, rich taste. I mean, it seems like this tea set was also made by Mr. Dover. Oh, the tea set was made by the victim. Let's take a closer look. There's a container with Ceylon tea leaves in it. To prevent exposure to sunlight and, and moisture, the container is airtight and made of tin. You should you should help us this should help preserve the quality of the tea leaves. There's not a single stain on this pure white tablecloth. Take a lot of the edge and focus your mind, then in one go? Okay, I hope you're not planning to do anything bad. N no don't worry. Even if I failed, the tablecloth would be dyed a nice black, black a, la, a la tea. The tablecloth looks better white. Please refrain from changing it. I wonder about that. It might look better in, in another color, like pink or blue or tea. Oh my. So this tea set was made by Isaac Dover. Fancy stuff, huh? Okay, I'd like to I'd say this tea set is worth thousands of dollars. Please be careful with it. Eh? Huh? This tea set is such a treasure? Please don't look so excited. If I recall correctly, Miss Hall was a huge fan of Mr. Dover. Hello! 
Luigi! What is it? Be careful with that teapot! Why must I be warned by him out of all people? Mad Madame and Messieurs. Would you care for some tea? Miss Hall? Uh, K Katie! N no, I I'm fine, thanks. Kay and Edgy, you, can you guys can have some. Hmm? Well, since you asked, we might as well take a short break. Certainly. Thanks for the tea. Wow, it's so tasty. What kind of tea is this, Miss Ezrith? It's Ceylon tea, known for its citrus, citrus aroma. However, Miss Hall, is this the same tea you served us this morning? Yes. Oh, is this not to your liking? No, it's not that. The tea we had this morning had a slightly different aroma. Ha! I knew it. Mm. How strange. It's certainly the same Ceylon tea, Ceylon tea I served this morning. There shouldn't be anything different about it. I've given up trying to do the French accent. What's wrong with you, Edgy? Quit nitpicking about the key tea Katie so kindly prepared for you. Larry, what are you getting so upset about? Uh, I'm not upset, you're just being a rude jerk. And I told you to call me Larice. Sheesh, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Promise? It's like arguing with a child. Larice, I wonder what's wrong. I'd like to ask him that later myself, and I also need to speak with Miss Hole. I don't have any evidence that shows she is the culprit, but I dare say she was the one with. I dare say she was the one who set up the poison gas trap. So this is what I believe. Oops. Damn it. I can't see a clear connection. Alright, so there's not enough evidence. I'm on the right track, but there's just not enough evidence yet. Miss Hole, where have you been until now? I was showing the remains of the guests out and handling complimentary gifts as an apology. Did you require my services? Yes, there are a few things that I want to ask you about. My suspicions are correct. She's the one who set up the poison gas trap. How exactly did you pair the melted sculptures from 18 years ago? Why, well, so you know what happened 18 years ago? It's because eight. It's because 18 years ago I photographed Monsieur, Monsieur Dover's sculptures. Using the photos as a base, I managed to create replicas. Replicas? The Zodiac sculptures have been an unfinished work, so I wanted to, to complete it somehow. I felt, because I am the one who accidentally melted Monsieur Dover's sculptures, and could, you, uh, <clears throat> and could you tell me why the Antwerp Palace re resembles the Winter Palace so much? Well, my apologies, they really look so alike. I think I might have gotten some of the decorations mixed up. She's obviously lying. But I haven't gathered any evidence to prove that yet. Alright, so I need, I need more evidence. Also, where the fuck did Larry go? There's a vase of tulips in front of this door. Probably because it's the Spring Palace. You know, speaking of spring, it's like... It's the moving season. People who have just moved away to let their guard down, so it's the always thieving season. As a great thief, don't you think burglary is a little beneath you? Ah, uh, you're right. Ouch. Alright. Fuck Larry. Larry, tell me what you're hiding. You two, stop daring and glaring at each other like that. I'm not glaring, Kay. I'm using my artist's perspective. Edgy is the one who's glaring. Then if you know what's good for you, you will tell me what you're hiding right now. No way, dude! Didn't I say I'm not talking to you anymore? What are you talking to me right now? F from now on! From now on, I'm definitely not talking to you anymore! <laughs> I'm not going to get anywhere like this. 
Looks like I'll have to force it out of him. Larry, what are you hiding? Hmm. <laughs> hey, come on. Mr. Edgeworth, this isn't the time to be playing around, you know. <sighs> I wasn't playing around. Still, it, lo it, uh, it looks like the Reese won't be talking anytime soon. If he isn't going to talk to us willingly, I'll just have to force him to talk. Just what is Larry hiding? Perhaps I should investigate a bit more. I should continue investigating around the fountain patio. Okay, so we need to present evidence for those two. What? Okay, uh, let's talk to you. We've recovered the victim's body. Forensics are currently performing the autopsy. And what of the investigation of the fountain? The fountain is completely clear. You can cleanse both your heart and soul with it. The body was floating in this fountain just a moment ago, though. Sculptures of a man with the face... With the... Uh, of a man with the face of a moon... Of a, yeah, and a woman with the face of a sun. The man looks kind of gloomy, though. Were these also made by here, Pierre Hoquet? Okay? It seems like he made this in his youth when he was enthralled with the stars. This piece light likens the relationship between the moon and sun to something closer to home. This piece is entitled My Parents. I think we know who were the parents in that marriage. <laughs> okay, so this is what they. Wait. Okay, so it's the same thing. There are statues of a couple in Roman costume. Are these by Piero K2? I think they usually were made in the middle years of his life, at the, at the height of his fame. He modeled them after Roman gods at the request of his ruler. He modeled them after Roman golds at the request of his beloved wife. The piece is entitled Venus, the goddess of beauty, and her manservant. I think it's obvious who won. No shit. What are you looking at here? Hmm. This is the lift trolley has just been lifted here. I wonder if it was used recently to carry something heavy. The surface of the platform appears to be wet. Hmm, if I remember seeing this lift, Charlie, someplace before. You mean during the IS-7 incident? Oh, that's right, I remember now. It was in Dover's room. It was carrying the... If I remember correctly, it was used to transport the ice sculptures. The lift, Charlie, has a... F the, the lift, Charlie, has a feature that allows you to adjust the height and angle of the platform. With just one of these, a single person can move the sculptures all by themselves. Wow, how convenient. I want one too. Why is there a lift trolley? Why is there a lift trolley here? I guess it's something we need to look, uh, think about. This could be related to the case. On the shelf for trophies, I'm... Uh, commemorating Isaac Dover's work as a Pierre Hoquet. He truly was a first-rate artist. There are quite a number of trophies lined up here. I remember you have some trophies too, Mr. Edgeworth. I would love to have some too. If there only... If, I would love to have some too if only there were contests for thieves. How about it, Mr. Edgeworth? We could hold on at the prosecutor's office. I don't mind you holding a contest, but all the participants would be arrested. Tch. <laughs> Alright, what about you? Oh, how's the investigation coming along? Have you found anything? Oh, I mean, not yet, actually. We haven't found any clues yet. You're doing it wrong. Oh, is it only used when you're showing someone someone? Also, yes, he's used to confirm and as greeting. Eep is used when you're afraid. Fee is used when you don't like something. Oh, is used when you're calling someone. Hmm, I see. I didn't know it was that deep. Oh, yeah, Mr. Edgeworth. Did you catch all that? Uh, okay, be more serious. Yes, yeah, see. <laughs> Mr. Abyss, you're getting a bit in my way if you stand here. I'm not going to move. You do what you can over there. Don't say that. It's, prob it's probably the best if you... Don't say that. It's probably the best if you stand over there. The best, you say. Okay, I'll go stand over there. So anything is fine as long as you add the best to it. What about you? I feel you con your conduct thus far has 
been clearly out of line. I'll be sure to bring up this matter to the BIC. Do whatever you want. But in return, we're going to do whatever we want as well. If I remember correctly, you're the little Miss Great Thief. I will have to report your misconduct to the PIC as well, young lady. Sure, since you only serve to increase my fame, Miss Great Thief. Seems even Judge Courtney is unable to get a handle on Kay. Alright. It's a statue of a brave warrior fighting a snake. Was it also maybe here? Yeah. It appears to be one of his early works when he was enamored with the fantasy, with fantasy and myths. The statue represents his hero heroic resolution to oppose hope hopeless difficulties in his youth. The title is The Math Test. I know that feeling all too well. Alright, so we've investigated more or less everything here. We haven't talked to you yet, though. Miles, how's the investigation going? Well, little by little, I'm beginning to see the entire truth behind this case. Oh, that's good to hear. Gray has better, had better not fall behind either. Alright, so we will actually talk to him next time. It's getting a little too long. In the next episode of Miles Edgeworth, Ace Turning Investigation 2, Prosecutor's Path, the Inherited Turnabout, we are going to investigate some more and hopefully drag some information out of Miss Hall and... Larice. So I will see you guys later.